Hey everybody, it's Jasmine, and today I'm bringing you guys the long-awaited full face of Asian-owned brands makeup tutorial. I'm super excited to not only get into this look, but also talk more in depth about some of the smaller brands that you guys may have not heard of. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we dive into the full face of makeup, I want to take the time in the beginning of this video to highlight a lot of the other Asian-owned small businesses just in the forefront of this video because a lot of it are accessories and things like that, so I wanted to get that out of the way in case you aren't that big into makeup and you guys just want some other alternatives to support some other Asian-owned businesses. Now, these are just the brands that I have purchased myself, um, and the first one that I want to mention in today's video is my own brand, Shop Beauty by Jasmine Yin. I sell handmade press-on nails. These ones are my birthday nails that I still have on. I'm planning on changing it soon, but I really just like the nude design here. I sell handmade press-on nails. Everything's made with love. I have some earrings as well as stickers as well as other accessories. And I am just so passionate about what I do. And I literally sit down every single day and work on something. So everything is definitely made with my love, sweat, and tears. If you guys are looking at my ring, this is by Flair Accessories. The owner's name is Dorothy, and I found her on TikTok. She's super, super sweet, and she also has really cute earrings. These are the threaders. She has literally like hundreds of designs. Like she has so many cute, affordable jewelry that doesn't tarnish, which is really amazing. So love these, love this ring because I wash my hands all the time and this one hasn't done me dirty. It's been gold, it's been shiny, and I love that so much. If you guys see me wear these minimal earrings, majority of the time they are from Idle Hour. The shop owner, Kavina, is so, so sweet. I love a lot of her designs, like if not all of them, like it's just really pretty. I really love the ones that I wear all the time, which are like the stars and moon or just all stars. And then I love these like little green ones here. These ones are my absolute favorite. They remind me of my childhood. I had pairs like this and I lost it. I, I feel so bad, but I did lose it. And these ones kind of just bring me back Back to my childhood. I have another brand that's from Etsy and this is Baby Rue Jewelry. This is just like my cute little girly aesthetic dreams. I love everything that Remy makes. She is just honestly such a sweetheart. She just fills my DMs and every single time we talk just with all the positivity, love and light. And I really do love her design. So I have just like some like little milk ones and then she makes these uh, resin earrings as well. Really pretty, really cute. Shop Sama Sama is a Filipino owned brand. She makes these polymer clay earrings. I have so many of these earrings and my best friend Mira, she actually gave me a custom order for like a Shrek set earring for my, uh, for Christmas. Yeah, it was for Christmas. I was going to say my birthday, but no, it was for Christmas. And these are just so cute. They are very lightweight despite it being clay. And they're just super like minimal. Like it's just, it's easy to wear, easy to pair with outfits. And they're really cute. Let's move on into some stickers. Now we have a lot of stickers that I like to decorate my laptop with. Of course, mine's in the middle. We can't neglect that, but I have so many. Um, so I know for sure this one is from Be Your Light Merch. It's another Cambodian owned business. I love you girl, Priscilla, yes. Um, this one here, the little potion, the mail, and the Apsara is uh, from Chu Thang on uh, Etsy as well. I have this one here. It's a little bear that's a stand against racism. And this one is from, I forgot her name. It's by Strawberry Moon on Etsy. And then this one here is from Darling Doll Cosmetics, which I will be using some of her palettes uh, in this video as well. And finally, if you love candles, go ahead and support my girl Erica from Wishing Wick on Etsy. She creates the best candles as well as just waxes for your wax warmer. And literally, I love her candles so much. They just mean the world to me. So the one that I've been lighting recently has been Love Language. And this one is Cherry Blossom Hydrangea and Vanilla like so sweet but like not overly sweet to the point where it's like too vanilla-y and it makes the room heavy it's very light soft and that's kind of like why I like her vibe it's like nothing like super heavy but the scent itself like once it spreads around the room you do smell it but it's just like not like that sickly sweet smell I have sweethearted Jasmine which I feel like she named after me I'm a sweetheart oh my god so it's made with Jasmine honeysuckle lemon and 
and wood and of course when she launched this I literally ran to Etsy just to buy this. I haven't lit it yet but it literally has like the strongest top note of jasmine which I really do like. Jasmine is one of my favorite floral scents. Not just me being biased but I just think in general it's just not a heavy scent. And then this one here is called Dandelion Dreams with Jasmine, White Tea, and Chrysanthemum. And I feel like the combination of White Tea and Jasmine here makes it smell like a, like a really clean bathroom. Like it just smells clean, fresh, like straight to the point. And that's why I really do like her scents. It's just all up my alley. So with that all being said, those are some of the small businesses that I really like and that I'm not going to be really uh, using in this video. Of course, I'm still going to wear my ring and earrings, of course, and my nails. But for the most part, we are now going to be moving on into the makeup. Now, the reason why it took me so long to film this video is because I wanted to buy some things for my birthday, but I was honestly waiting for like my direct deposit to hit. So I was like waiting on that in order to create my purchase. And by the time I made my purchase, I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna have to wait for everything to come in. So I have like a lot of brand new stuff for you guys. And I'm really excited because I have some things like from Velour that are just like brand spanking new. I have some things from Tower 28 that I've never tried. Patrick Ta, I got my whole order of M Cosmetics. I'm so so excited literally you guys everything that was on my wish list remember for like the past couple of months I literally waited until my birthday to just buy it and although I spent a lot of money on myself it was worth it honestly I felt like a huge relief I know retail therapy is so real but you know what we're just gonna get started with the video so I have my holy grail primer this is by touch and soul it is a Korean brand I haven't used this one in a while, so I'm sure it's going to be like all watery, but uh, this is my favorite silicone based primer. It doesn't feel like a lot of silicone on the face. It makes the makeup last all day on the skin, but also it blurs the skin like no other primer on the market. I have tried so many primers, you guys, and this one is still the one that I go back to, and I believe this one, she might be my fourth bottle. If you have watched my videos since like, 2017 ish you guys have seen this primer it's literally nothing new one of my favorites holy grail now for foundation I only have two brands that are Asian owned and I honestly didn't really want to purchase any new foundations I did buy a foundation for my birthday this is off topic but it's like so dark on me and honestly I am really upset about that so I'm gonna go return it at Ulta maybe today um, but we have here the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation in the shade 340 Oak and I believe this one might be a little dark Dark. So if that is the case, I'm going to go in with my Chantemisse Pro Wear Foundation in the shade Pure Beige. Did you guys know Chantemisse was Asian owned? I know a lot of people don't know that, but that's one of the reasons why I like fell in love with the brand because I knew they were Asian owned. So here we have a pump and a half of Shiseido. How is this looking? Um a little bit dark but we could go ahead and lighten it with the shop and foundation that's not a problem now if I am being completely honest with you there were a lot of brands that I didn't realize were Asian owned and as a matter of fact when I did a lot of research for some of these brands I would like type in like um, let's say like Shiseido uh, owner or founder right and a lot of the times like they never really had an extensive biography or even um, an about me of any of the owners. And that's kind of like what I feel like happens with a lot of other brands too. Like we just never really know much about the owner. So I am hoping moving forward, we could learn more about other brands like owners or founders and things like that, because I think it would be really interesting to just know who started it, why they started it, and the whole purpose of the brand. But did you know Shiseido was founded in the 1800s? And their first product that they made was actually for a lot of the geishas because the makeup that they were using was really harmful to the skin and it was getting very red and irritated. So in order to help that, they created the Oidermine, which I know not a lot of people uh, have or own or really know about, but it's actually the one Shiseido product that they've had literally since the beginning. And that product for a lot of people, they just keep it in their bathrooms as a way to like decorate but it's essentially just like this um, 
like toner for the face and I thought that was like super interesting. I learned that when I was doing training for Shiseido and learning about the brand and it was honestly like super, super cool. And the whole purpose of Shiseido is to feel welcome. So they have a saying called omatsunashi, which just means like to feel welcome, like have a lot of hospitality. I believe uh, it is a Japanese phrase and I don't speak Japanese, but um, that's what I learned. And I just thought that was like super cool. I think Shiseido out of all of these brands, because they are so old, I feel like we get more history on it but i think a lot of the brands that i'm going to show you today i don't really know much about the history because there really isn't any online which i feel like is so unfortunate i would love to read more about everybody and that doesn't just go for like asian owned brands that goes for literally like any brand like i would just love to read about it and whenever you know brands have like the meet the founders i'm always like oh like I'm I want to meet them. I want to know what goes on behind the scenes. Like, I want to know why you started the brand. Was it through passion or was it just like a project that you randomly had? So this is what my face looks like with just foundation. It looks really glowy, really soft and smooth. I just love the way that the Shiseido foundation makes you look. I do think that you do have to set it in some areas because it will continue to get dewy. Well, at least for me, because I think when I used to wear this all the time, I was at work and I was like always sweating. So I was like really dewy. But um, for the most part, I like to just set it like in the center of the face. Now I do have two concealers that I want to use to just lighten the center. Um, I do have the Shiseido Synchro Skin Concealer. This one is in the shade 202 Light. And then I have the Kaja Don't Settle Concealer in the shade Waffles. Um, I'm going to go in with Kaja first, um, just so that I could switch up some brands here and there. Now I'm going to just say this because I know everybody thinks it, but a lot of Asian brands, they don't have an extensive shade range. And a lot of the times they usually just have like three or four shades and then they just call it quits. And I honestly think it's because in Asia, we like to emphasize lighter skin because it just means you're wealthy, um, that you don't have to go work out in the fields or anything like that. It kind of just insinuates that like you have a good life, um, just being pale. And honestly, there are brands that are working on it and you are seeing it like very slowly, but I feel like there's just like so much work that can be done. So for example, when I started working for Shiseido, they didn't launch this foundation line yet yeah. like they literally had the worst shade range like it was 12 shades and i was like one of the darkest shades which is so sad um and when they like completely like discontinued that line and uh came out with the synchro skin it kind of just like made me feel like okay well now they are trying to get better at like all formula so the concealers um the foundations now they have a new foundation and they have two concealers they have powder foundation and they all have extensive shade ranges so i'm over here thinking like damn why is it taking so long you know and you know the more i think about it the more i feel like it's not uncommon for asian women to want to look whiter than they actually are like as you guys know i am a makeup artist and a lot of my time you know working with clients who are asian they want to be like just very white like super pale the lightest shade in the foundation line and they can even be darker than me wanting to be super super light i have came across so many clients in my day and it's just like i don't know i don't know if we the younger generation just like live in this world of like okay we want to beat um, all of the non-inclusivity we want to be more inclusive but I'm not sure if like the older generation would necessarily want that because it kind of just seems like a lot of the older generation just makes us feel like no like we are still going to emphasize that being white means that you have more privilege I'm not sure if I even like said that in the right way and I don't want to offend anybody but that's just like my opinion you know I feel like just in my line of work and the people that I have met in my life, it kind of just seems like that. So I don't speak for everybody and I'm not trying to offend anybody either. I'm just trying to just say that, 
you know, I'm happy that brands are trying to be more inclusive, but I just feel like it could have been better and it could have been like shown earlier, if that makes any sense. Oh, and by the way, I'm using the Shop Miss A Press Powder in the shade Banana. This is my Holy Grail powder. I think this one's my third one. I go through these like crazy. These are my absolute favorite. I'm just setting the center of my face because as I said earlier, um, I will get shiny in the center of my face, but I just want to kind of just mattify that a little bit more. And that is the face with foundation, concealer, and powder. My skin is at looking absolutely stunning. Yay, love it. You know what? I'm actually not done with powder on my face. I got the brand new one size turn up the base powder foundation. I have medium 4G, so it's golden. Oh my gosh, I am so excited for this. I have barely seen reviews the day I'm filming this. Um, today is April 15th. It's my sister's birthday today. And I am currently pre-filming videos because I will be out with my family on a little vacation. And honestly, we want to go on vacation because um, we haven't as a family. And also, my dad is getting to the age where he is getting a little old and um, he's slowly limping and we really want to go out while he can so of course we are going to be safe because obviously my parents are more high risk um, but we are just gonna be like just just out as a family you know what I mean just just out like just us the comfort of the fam you know what I mean and we're just gonna have a good time together. So, um, pre-filming, but I'm really excited for just like this mini vacation that we're gonna go on. Just really excited about that. My face is just looking so good. Dang, I'm loving it. So, for the face, I have just a lot of uh, things that we can use. So, I have here the M Cosmetics Serum Blush. I don't think I'm gonna use this because I already went in with powder and I honestly forgot. But I got the shade Peachy Peachy. I did get just the blush in the regular powder form. And I think I wanna use it today. Oh my god, I am so excited. Um, this one is Faded Clementine and I've been wanting this for so so long she looks so boring she looks so boring but that's okay I like that and then um, for uh, another blush in case I need it I have the Kaleidos lo-fi blush this one's in the shade lo-fi peach and then if I need another one you know just to turn it up a little bit I have this duo from Mana Kadar and this is just called bronzer and blush there's no no other name it's just bronzer and blush um but i think i'm gonna go in with bronzer first so i'm gonna take this kimchi chic one i'm going all over the place i am so sorry i i have so much energy right now for it being so early for me um and i'm just gonna take this one from kimchi chic this is the thaler bronzer and this is the shade i went to venice so i'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face with this super pretty so pigmented I really like this shade on me, to be honest with you. So pretty. Love that. Also, while we are here, I wanted to mention that I did say in my vlog that I posted for my birthday that I wanted to change organizations to donate to. And for this month, I'm going to be donating 5% of the proceeds made on my website to Stop Asian Hate in the Bay Area. Um, so... I'm going to just do the big donation at the end of the month or at the start of the month. Um, it really depends on if I'm busy or not. So I will be making that donation and then of course I will be posting it on my stories. As always, whenever I do make donations, I do make it public to you guys just because um, I think it's better to just like share that information as opposed to just like keeping it for myself. You guys are seeing the process. You guys are seeing um, just my brand doing its magic you know what I mean so I try to be as vocal and communicative as possible all right let's go in with that blush this one looks so pretty it's a shimmery blush let's see <gasps> that is so cute oh wow this is this is giving me mac trace gold but with a little bit of extra peach 
<gasps> oh, wow, yeah. Uh huh. Oh, this is so pretty. <gasps> That's nice. Oh, I'm so happy I got this because this was like the one M Cosmetics product I've always wanted. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh. By the way, the products that I didn't use, like the Kaleidos and the Manicadar, of course, I'm going to list it in the description box below, just so you guys um, can have access to all the information as possible. And then I'm just going to finish off the highlighter here since we are here. And I'm taking the Juno & Co. Moonbeam Highlighter, and this is in the shade Glisten. Now, they're actually also located in the Bay Area, and I have been to their warehouse, which has been like a couple of years now, but... They're a really sweet team. I really do love them. Every single time they come out with something new and amazing, I feel like I'm so interested because it's like very slow launches. You know, I think we are just so accustomed to bigger, faster launches now. And I like how these smaller brands, they take it a little slower. They take time to create some really amazing products and it just makes us excited every single launch. Now that the base is done, I zoomed you guys in so you guys could see the eyes. Now I only have one brow product that's Asian owned and it's by Velour. Now this is actually one of their newer products. It's called the Fluff and Brow Pencil and I have the shade Dark Brown. I usually am a dark brown. So this is a three in one. So here you get the spoolie and then you pull it again and it's the brow pencil, the little uh, diamond shape. Um, the teardrop shape I should say and then on the bottom here is the wax so I'm going to show you guys how I personally use this I will take the wax first and I will literally just like slide it through my entire brow and this will give me like a nice tint to my brows I'll literally just like rub it all in very nice very easy especially if you have a lot of brows like I do I'll go ahead with that spoolie and because this is a wax, you could literally manipulate your brow in any way that you'd like it to be shaped. So I kind of just brush it all up. We're gonna take that pencil and we're just gonna define the rest of the brow. So I mostly start on the bottom because I like a nice definition down there. I don't know, there's something about it that makes me feel like me. If my eyebrows just don't have that line underneath, I just feel like oh, I'm a different person, I'm a different breed. This spoolie is literally so soft, it's so delicate, but it really does the job beautifully. By the way, I did change my code with Velour. It's now That's So Yin. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. It's gonna get you 20% off the website. So my coupon code did change, but also the percentage that you get off also changed too. It used to be 15%, now it's 20. We love that. I'm here trying to save you money, okay? And I just also love the fact that Velour is stepping up their game because they just used to be lashes and now they're getting into brows and I'm going to show you their brand new mascara that I literally got in PR this morning. So something's telling me that eyeshadow is coming up. Yes, our favorite part. Now I am going to actually prime my eyes. Now I am gonna go in with my Kaleidos Tone Activator Eye Primer. This is one of my favorites. This one, as well as a Shop Misse Soft Base, both really amazing. I think these are my top two, honestly. I've tried a lot of eye primers and Kaleidos is definitely number one for me. So what I will do is I will just um, squeeze a little bit out and just apply it onto my eyes like such. And I'm not only going to use this as an eye primer, but I'm also going to use it as a way to clean up my brows. So I will take it all the way up with my concealer brush and I will just slowly carve out the bottom of my brow just to make it look a little bit more sharp, a little bit more defined. And then once that's done, I will just distribute it more, take another brush, and then just pat it down so that it's all nice and even on the eyelid. 
Here are the palettes that I pulled out for today's video. Now, I have Alter Ego, this is an Asian owned brand, and I wanted to use my Holy Grail palette from them, which is the Sahara palette. So if I need any nude shades, I'm gonna definitely go into this, but I really wanted to focus my look around Darling Doll Cosmetics. Now she comes out with some amazing palettes. Julie is her name, Julie's the owner, and I love this one in particular. So this one is the Team Angel palette really pretty i love the tones in here there's some glitter there's a lot of shimmer mattes of course and then i also have her team devil palette which i did do a look with and i posted it on tiktok and this one is another one of my favorites but i'm thinking for today's look i want to keep it nice soft and simple with the team angel palette i'm going to use the shade god tier as my transition shade and I'm also going to try to use all Shop Miss A brushes just to keep it all Asian owned here. So I'm just buffing this into the crease and blending it up all the way towards the brow bone. Just building up a little bit more here. I honestly don't know where I want to take this look. I don't know if I want to do like a soft smoky eye or cut crease. I really have no idea. I'm still using the shade God Tier, but I'm switching into a brush that's just a little bit smaller just so I can really get into my crease. The other one was a big fluffy blending brush, so that was easier for me to really distribute the color all over my eyelid. So whenever you're trying to get really into that crease and to build up the color, just switch into something that's more of a dome shape and that is a little smaller. I need to talk about my vision because I feel like I might mess it up. So. The goal here, I'm going to do like a dark intense smoky eye on my lid um, using Level Up and I want to do that because I feel like this palette is really light so I feel like that's just like an easy escape for me. On my lower waterline though, I want to actually use the blue because I haven't done that in a very very long time. So I'm going to stick with the same brush and I'm going to take Level Up on one side of it. You don't want to take it on both sides. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently sweep this color and build it up. Now I'm not taking a lot at a time, I'm just taking a very little bit and packing it on. I'm trying to be very patient with this color because you don't want to overdo it. So just go in with one tap and just keep going, keep blending and then you will get to the point where it's going to go up into your natural crease which is right there for me. I'm gonna switch back into that big blending brush and then just blend those edges. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more God Tear just to get that pigment in there. Just blend. I'm gonna use the shade called Safe Rest and I'm gonna see if I could grab it with this brush here and just dust it onto my eyelid just to get a little bit of brightness into this look here. All of these shades are so easy to blend and build. Julie really did something with these palettes, honestly. I'm lining my eyes with the Shiseido Sumi Sky Eyeliner just as a base um, because I need this blue to blend into something and blues look best when you have a lot of dimension. So I'm just using this first. Now we're taking Peacekeeper and we're going to take this on a small little angled brush and we're just going to blend in back and forth motions. I like to bring my colors past my crease line on the bottom there because once my eyeshadows or concealer starts to crease, it kind of just blends in with the eyeshadow. So I like to blend it past that just to avoid any issues. Okay, let's go into the Sahara palette real quick and let's take the shade called Sands. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna blend the edges of the blue and this is just going to allow it to just have a nicer transition to my skin tone just cause blue is just so in your face bright. And while we're here, let's go ahead and take Jewel and pop that into the inner corner. So right here, drag it up a little bit and then drag it down to meet that blue. 
So it's time for lashes. You guys can actually pick whatever brand of lashes you want. You guys have Shop Massey, you guys have some Velour, but today I wanna to use some Glamnetic lashes because I feel like I've used a lot from both brands, Velour and Shop Massey, so I wanna just give you guys um, more variety in this look. Now, it's going to be all over the place because I'm going to first draw my eyeliner with a regular liner first and then go in with the Glamnetic liner and then add my lashes on top because I, Honestly, I don't like the Glamnetic liner because it is a felt tip. Um, so I'm just gonna do it in the order where I feel like it works best for me. So I'm just taking my Chamisse Artista liner and I like to just draw my wing. And today's look is gonna do more of like a half wing, so I'm not gonna go all the way. So I'm just gonna stop in the middle of my eye with my line. And this is going to be a base because I just need to see where my lines are. But I do have this brand new Velour mascara that I got in PR this morning. I believe I mentioned that earlier today. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So this one is called Pretty Big Deal. It's a peptide and tubing mascara. I've never had a tubing mascara. And this feels luxurious. This looks luxurious. Wow. Um, so this is a three-in-one lash serum, lash shield, and mascara. Nice. Um, it says longer, stronger looking lashes. So let's go ahead and apply this and see if we can all see my lashes. Now I'm not going to do like a big coat because we are going to use fake lashes today, but I just want to see um, how this works upon like first impressions. I know tubing mascaras are supposed to get like both sides, so we're gonna do that. Oh yeah, more juice the more you dive into this, so keep that in mind. First attempt at a layer is very light, but this is definitely one that's going to get a little bit more juicy the more you use it. Wow, bottom lashes are looking nice. Oh, she said castor oil treatment. Ooh, I ran out of my clear contacts and I need to buy more because these colored ones are not it. I know they're brown, but um, I just need my clear contacts again. Um, oh, damn it. I had a lash curler too. Okay, well, let's look at it. You know, let's look at it. Even though I didn't use it, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, so this one has more of a curve than your Shiseido one, which is a Japanese eyelash curler. So typically on Asian eyes, um, you wanna look for something more flat, but this one still seems more flat than most lash curlers, but not as flat as Shiseido's, you know what I mean? That right there, that is the curve, just so you guys see what I'm seeing. Okay, now let's go in with some Glamnetic lashes. I did get a new pair. And I wanted to use these um, like little mini ones. I thought they would be really cute. Uh, these ones are in the style, sweetie. Oh, cute. So in depth on how to use the Glamnetic liner. So I have the one that's in the felt tip and I'm gonna go over what I have. And I'm gonna go over it again. So essentially what you wanna do is just like make your lash line wet with the liner and then while it's like 80% dry that's when you want to apply the lash so I'm gonna fan it real quick and then I'm gonna take the style sweetie I know these are small so you guys could barely see but um, there it goes let me move it a little There it is. The full lashes from Glamnetic, sometimes I feel like because of the way my eye is shaped, because I do have uneven eyelids, sometimes it's really difficult. So these half lashes are just a lot better, a lot easier just for me personally. So the lashes are on, they're looking pretty good, pretty natural. I do like this style, I think it really complements how soft this look is. It's not doing too much, but also you do get like that bright pop of blue. So because we are doing blue on the eyes, I wanted to keep the lips 
kind of neutral but like with a little bit of color so I have here two products so one is by Patrick Ta this is the precision lip crayon in the shade she's proud and then I have this little number from pony effect and this one is oh my gosh I don't know the name of this but it's in the shade number five how cool is that okay let's go in and just draw on my lip line and then this one is the shade number five from pony effect that's cute Ooh, this is cute a little bit of color on the lips like not too much um i also did buy the infinite lip cloud from m cosmetics that i never opened i got the shade faded clementine i kind of just want to open it share the little deets with you guys because why not we're here aren't we i've never tried the m cosmetics um lip clouds but this is the shade that i got faded clementine so pretty bright but you know i just thought this would be cute for like I don't know days out I, I, girl I don't know and let's go ahead and seal the deal with the tower 28 daily rescue facial spray I bought this for my birthday and I bought it only because it says fragrance free alcohol free oil free it's hypoallergenic you can use it in the morning or the night and it's great for all skin types and it says that it helps soothe irritation and defend against daily damage from skin's everyday stressors including makeup sweat grime and pollution so there's just a lot of claims to this and I haven't used it yet so let's go ahead and just spray it on oh it smells like nothing literally like water oh my god oh wow I just decided to buy the travel size because I didn't know what I was getting myself into and you can't spray things in Sephora so I just I just decided heck with it like let's go in with the little mini and you know what my skin looks nice um, it also did melt some of the powders into my skin just a little bit more and that looks really pretty all right you guys that completes this video hope you guys all enjoy thank you guys so much for watching yet another makeup tutorial i know that these are not as popular as they used to be but it really does warm my heart when you guys tune in and we could all just play with makeup and chill i was really excited to bring you guys this video and to also just bring you guys some newer launches as well as some smaller smaller brands you guys may have not heard of like on etsy and just give you guys another reminder of just some of the brands that you may or may not be using that are Asian owned and before I go I wanted to just end this video with some thoughts of positivity I guess now I know it's really hard especially now when racism just seems like it's definitely more common um, now with social media I think it's really easy to see a lot of these nasty comments and you see it quite often like you see it a lot in like YouTube comments TikTok, Instagram and I think you know because we are always on our phones we always just want to fight fire with fire like oh you're so dumb why would you say that to me like you know it's just so ridiculous but I think something that's really important to remember is that sometimes people just need education and sometimes people just need that daily dose of positivity um, I know there are a lot of people out there who when they have a bad day they want to take it out on somebody else make it somebody else's problem make that person kind of feel the negative energy that they're feeling and it's this almost toxic cycle so do whatever you can whether that's you know um, saying have a great day to that person or just walking away from it just taking time for yourself to you know cool off from it whatever it may be i just hope that in the end we can all just reach peace happiness and love i think that's just going to be the one thing that's going to get us closer to equality as opposed to just spreading us more far apart so i hope you guys all really enjoy this video i hope that you guys found some of the things that i mentioned here helpful whether that was about the makeup or the products or the brands or even techniques i hope you guys found it some some way shape or form helpful because i do try and make that a big part of my channel so as always i love you all so much and i will see you guys in my next one bye, bye. peace out girl scouts